Hi everyone, this is Celine from Link's Book Reviews and today I'm going to give you a tour of my bookshelves. Um, the tour will be posted in two parts as I both live at my parents' house and in my own room close to university. So today I'm going to show you all the books I have at my parents' house. Um, I'd like to start with my big bookshelf, which is this one. On the top, one second, <laughs> you can see all of my old Dutch books. These are Harry Potter's and that's Darren Shan, I think. These are all, du all Dutch children's books and the Dutch version of Lord of the Rings. On the second shelf from the top I have my English Harry Potter's. Um, this is a Terry Pratchett book, this one. Um, a big series of Kelly Armstrongs, which is urban fantasy, if you don't know it. This is my collection of Jane Austen's. Uh, I don't really sort my shelves in any particular way, except maybe the top shelf, which is all Dutch books. But the rest is just pretty random. Uh, I'm sorry I don't really have good light here. These are... well, this one is, uh, isn't is that illogical. Uh, this is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, next to Jane Austen, of course. And Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters. And next to that we have all my Libba Bray books which are, all have pretty corsets on the covers. I really do love this cover. And next to that I have Jonathan Stroud books. And if we drop down for a bit, I have the white edition of Aragon and Alice and Um uh, Next to that we have The Host, uh, Stephanie Meyer books, a random uh, Ian I think he's called Ian. Ian Irvin book, which is epic fantasy. Uh, we have part one of the Hunger Games over here, but I have part two and part three somewhere completely else. Um, this is Vampire Diaries, a Charlie and Harris book. These are all review books. These. Uh, I'm not really sure why I put them here. Usually I put my review books somewhere else. Anyways. Uh, this is uh, Stephen King. Uh, some more books for review. review. Uh, Juliet Mary Lay. Oh, hey, there's part one of the Jonathan Stroud books. Uh, this is... Oh, this book is awesome. One second. This is a very, very old Agatha Christie book. And it has... And then, we're, then there were none. But... One second, I can show you. When it was first written, and then there were none, it was called Ten Little Niggers. And I still have one a copy that still has the old title. Um, it took my mum quite a while to find this edition, but I really like it. Um, down here we have the Hogwarts Library books. So, Tales of Beetle the Bard, Fantastic Bees and Where to Find Them, etc. Uh, two parts of Rachel Vincent's uh, YA series. And if we get down just a little bit more, here I have two copies of Lemony Snicket's books. I have part one and part six, so I have quite some collecting to do. Uh, next to that, I have Photoshop and crazy stuff. Let's get on with the tool. Um, on my desk I usually also keep random books like here. I have another Stephen King. You'll notice that I spread my Stephen King novels literally everywhere. Um, down here we have Spirit of Lost Angels and Anna 2026. Um, those are both review copies. I still have to read The Spirit of Last Angels. <laughs> really should do that soon. And then we go here, which is another bookshelf and my guitar. She's called Emily. Anyways, um, here are my cookbooks. I don't really use them, but once in a while it's nice to have cookbooks. I have used this one to make cookies. I don't really have time to bake usually. When I do, I use the cookbook. 
Uh, on the top here we have the Goddess Girls book. I have two other ones from these, but I've no clue where I left them. They are great though. And this is the Slither Sisters. I got this one for review as well. And the cover is awesome. One second. So, if you can tell, they have this holographic image thing going on, which is a lot of fun. I think. I loved to have these books when I was little. Uh, we have a Laura K. Hamilton, some Firelight. The, this book I got for free at the last London Book Fair. Uh, Fire Baptized. A book of Robert Lipperulo or something. I didn't really enjoy this one. It was way too dark for me and it was a children's book so I don't really think children's books should be that dark. Anyways, let's go down for a bit. Um, Dracula the Undead. I never finished this one. Um, I hope to do so one day, but it just didn't feel like the real Dracula. I've read Dracula for about three times now, and um, the, the characters get changed a lot, and I didn't really like that. We got another Darren Chan. Uh, Gossip Girl Psycho Killer, which is a very weird book. Uh, another one that I got for free at the London Book Fair, some Marion Keys, another Stephen King. Um, these are all catalogues I received at the London Book Fair. Then if we go down, this is my Terry Goodkin collection. I have about 11 parts I think here. And the prologue. I really should buy the last few. Um, I read them all once and the second way around I came up until the fifth book. They're great though. I'd love to read them all again if I had the time. So if you go down here I have the Da Vinci Code game. Uh, book for review. Hey! Another Goddess Girls book. I lost that one. That's cool. Um, another Rachel Vincent book. And a fancy edition of Weathering Huts. I haven't read it yet though. really hope I can sometime re read it. I'll take the Goddess Girl book so I don't lose it again. Alright. Um, I also have some more shelves here. Uh, and some stuffed animals. But let's not dwell on that. Um, this is my random crap shelf basically. So I have two books that I had for review. Another Stephen King, Twilight, a Shalane Harris. I have the entire box but uh, the box is at my other room. I wish in love. I wish I knew where part one of the series was by Ruth Warburton. Uh, the third book in that is released lately I think. I should buy that one. It was a great series, very entertaining. Uh, here I have uh, Anne Rice, the Vampire Chronicles collection. I never finished Queen of the Damned. I really did like the Vampire Last Out, but Queen of the Damned is... it takes really long to get going. Alright. Peculiar, this is more just random stuff with Tim Harrison. Uh, Emily Autumn's book, 10 by Gretchen McNeil. Um, here are my Maggie Stiefvaters, Mary Lauren Miracle Bliss, another Terry Goodkind, Law of Nine in Dutch. Here I have Cornelia Funke's books, also in Dutch. Um, part two and three in the Hunger Games. Um, not sure why part one isn't there with them, but I guess whatever. Zombies versus unicorns. This book is great. It, it all has these little details, like that's a zombie on the top, and if the chapter is about unicorns, it has a unicorn at the top. It's just a beautiful book, I love it. Um, I also got Peter Freund's Ascendant here. Uh, I had Four Darkness Shows the Stars over there, and part one I pushed on my mum, she's reading it now, so. <laughs> I, I sometimes force my mom to read my books. Uh, here I have two more Laurel K. Hamilton's Rack This Journal, which is quite fun. 
the entire purpose of this book is to wreck it so I don't know if you can tell but somewhere we had to oh here's all the holes and I think we threw it in the dirt and stuff but I can't really see where we did that anyway it's full of weird stuff and I, I should do this more often it's nice to not uh, treat a book well for once in a while some Bill Bryson another Darren Chen you can find those all over the place as well and as a final destination I also keep some books on my nightstand but as you can see my room is pretty small this is pretty much it so I decided I need more room for my books so that's when Bedrara came in so I keep my books in here so this is pretty much a random collection of books this is was actually my first review copy I received and I never managed to finish it actually which is a bit sad but it's just so long and I just accepted it and didn't really think about if I would actually like it so we got the complete works of William Shakespeare in here and just some books that don't have friends um, when I won a Goodreads first reads giveaway for a Sandra Brown book this one for some reason they added another book which is for Lidden Nut or something um, I think it isn't Finnish maybe Swedish or Danish I don't know it's sounds Scandinavian but I can't read it and I have no clue why they sent me this so if any one of you knows how to read this um, let me know you can have it because to be honest I can't um, that's about it these are um, that's about all the books that I have in here um, the remainder of my books are all in Tilburg which is where I live by myself and I'll show you them next time I hope you enjoyed the tour and if you have any anything to say please leave a comment